What's up? This is Naked Eli, your world record holder in Halo Reach Challenges, bringing you a tutorial on multiplayer multi kills. Kicking it off with our first method, Griff Ball. This is by far the easiest and fastest method for getting multi kills. In this game type, everyone has hammers and swords, no shields unless they're holding the bomb, and quick respawn times on a clearly visible respawn zone at their wall. This is a game I went into this afternoon to show you you can rack up multi-kills very easily by just continuously killing them at their base. Get the highest multi-kill you can. You can also go behind their base and systematically spawn kill them. There are four precision spawn points that you can detect and just each person stand behind one and continuously hammer away. You gotta be careful because they can still turn around and swing at you, but hopefully you'll get them quick enough that they don't do that. It's just pretty funny actually. And then all my teammates die, so the fun ends. Our second method is killing zombies and living dead. The advantage to this strategy is you won't die to randomness nearly as much as in Griff Ball, which annoys some people like me. But the disadvantage is you have to be human and sometimes you're a zombie, which sucks. So you gotta be at the right place at the right time. You see here in Sword Base that humans are so much more powerful than zombies. Give me that kill catastrophe, give me the kill block and my first Killionaire ever. Very exciting to get those multi kills up. This is Countdown, another favorite of mine in Living Dead. Uh, I see my teammate die over there, so I run to the other end. I want to funnel them through this lift and that door. The two for one with the shotgun. Give me the kill tech. Give me the kill trust. Where's the next one? Where's the next one? Kilimanjaro. Kill catastrophe. Kill apocalypse. And the Killianair again. I love it. Very, very exciting. Our third method is big team battle. In this playlist, many powerful vehicles are at your disposal to help you rack up kills fast. The Scorpion tank on Paradiso is a great example. You can go behind the enemy base and just click and shoot wherever you see an enemy spawn. It really is that simple. Watch out for those jetpackers flying towards you. Right here I get the kill apocalypse, and I just didn't get the kill in there. Missed that last shot. And finally, the other vehicle I recommend is the Banshee. It's incredibly fast, shoots out infinite fuel rod gun with the splash damage of a full blown rocket launcher. And look, this guy actually just missed with the rocket launcher. Uh, the Banshee is also very precise with its shots, very powerful to be in. Um, right here, picking up the Kilimanjaro, looking for that kill catastrophe. Where is he? There he is. See this guy? Look, he's just sitting there. Bad idea. Kill Apocalypse. Missed the laser, and that was my first ever Killionaire in a Banshee. It's harder than it looks, requires skill and luck, and you gotta know a lot of tricks to be fast and make the quick turnaround. Doing the backflip is obviously the most common. That guy missed a rocket too. What's up with these people missing rockets lately? Um, and also, uh, right here, the three for one kill catastrophe. Where's the jetpacker? Kill apocalypse. And right here, the mongoose. Easy cheesy for that killionaire. And sometimes you just get lucky with a spawn multi kill. Check this out. Woo! Five, four, one. Off the spawn. To finish off with the banshee, this is my favorite overkill. Just doing that backflip like I showed you is the simplest thing that any beginner could do. Uh, and then right here, check out this trick shot, mid-air backwards flip in slow motion. And if you want another method, click on the link to open my previous SWAT tutorial to get some SWAT multi-kills. And if all else fails and you just don't want to do any of this, use power weapons whenever possible. With the sniper, position yourself where you see packs of enemies and rip their heads off for an easy triple kill. If you're on map with rockets, just try to find packs of enemies and use the splash damage to your advantage. These guys go down for an easy triple. I mean, look at the score. This is the same game six seconds later. <laughs> just don't run that close to each other, buddy. And to finish off, the sword on sword base seemed fitting. Just like the shotgun and hammer, get close and personal, you might end up with an overkill extermination. So with these tips, go out and get some multi-kills. Thumbs up, subscribe for more. This is Naked Eli. Thanks for watching.